I told you months ago I was you done with him. You couldn't stay off the weed. Uh-huh. Now it's it's DWI. I mean, damn. Right. I mean, what is it? What 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 what's next? What's next? I, I don't know. Codeine, weed, de alcohol. I mean, what what's next? What's next? I, I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to hear anything about. Mm. Uh, do y'all? Uh, I, I I challenge anybody in this country to show me codeine, weed, alcohol that's worth millions of dollars. Coach, oh, this is sports. Got a problem? Got a problem? You know, you got to help, you know. Ah, I want to hear that. There is no nine to five job unless this brother becomes astute on Wall Street. <laughs> there is no nine to five job that's going to pay this man this kind of money. You want to sit there and stay on the weed yep. by constantly coming up with excuses and giving passes to nothing short of flagrant idiocy. No. And I'm sitting there, and how many times do I have to say it? Do I need to do it again? Say, yeah. do it again. Please. Stay off the weed. Talk I have a it. list of players here. Most of these players are black. Mm. Just a thought. Do I look disgusted enough? And I'm going to repeat this. I got the list here. All of these players that have been suspended over the last several years, and a vast majority of them, damn near all of them, are black. Really? Really? Your livelihood, millions of dollars, and you can't stay off the weed? Really? But you know something coach. else? Okay. Pete Carroll is the coach, but he's got his money, and last time I checked, he ain't getting busted for using weed. These two individuals, LeGarrette Blunt and Le'Veon Bell, have to be two of the stupidest individuals that I have encountered on this day. And you are just strolling down the street with, 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 with a woman in a car. Y'all get pulled over. All three of y'all say, oh, it's mine. The weed was mine. Weed. I don't even know. I mean, let's, all of them, I give them credit for that. At least they didn't try to deny that it was theirs. Who are you, Snoop Dogg in the green room? I mean, what, what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is the NFL. It has been made very, very clear regardless of the idiots in America who sit there and try to come to these dudes' defense, acting like, oh, well, you know what? It ain't nothing wrong with it or whatever. The NFL says there's something wrong with it. They ban it. You're not allowed to use it. I have never, ever, ever seen a joint or some weed in my life that is worth millions. I don't know how many times I have to say to stay off the damn weed. Mm -hmm. And they don't listen stupid to disrespect that organization yep. to disrespect him to show such a level of insensitivity to them because you want to smoke some weed it is inexcusable and it is unforgivable i hope i, I hope they get suspended for multiple games I, i'm i can't believe these dudes i i i just can't believe them i can't believe them you know what i wish we start doing I want a big fat picture of Josh Gordon next to it, $5 million. And then I want the screen wiped away, blacked. Weed. Because you can't get off the weed, you've lost millions of dollars. Y'all ain't getting me to feel sorry for nobody like that. I refuse. I, 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 don't, I, I, I can't, I can't take, I can't take it. I can't take it. It's millions of dollars, and all you have to do is stay off the weed, and you can't do it? I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? You jeopardize all of that for some weed, and I'm supposed to feel sorry for you? Really? Really? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm done. I'm done. For all the brothers out there, you know, we don't hear too much about white folks or other folks getting in trouble over weed. How many times, Skip? And then we Countless. And, and then you come on and then you come on TV and you come on national TV. Oh, Stephen A, he, he gotta look out. Look out for what? Weed? Weed, really? Everything eviscerated, thrown away, confiscated, taken from you because you can't stay off the weed. Hell no, I ain't feeling sorry for anybody. I'm tired. I'm just tired of it.
I'm tired of it. And an another test? Another one? Man, go ahead and talk, man. And I'm not talking about out of the first round or anything like that. But I want him to feel this, the pinch of his stupidity. And it was stupid. Let's just call this what it is. This stuff gets on my nerves to the highest level. How in God's name do you know that you are going to be a first-round pick in the NFL? If you know you're going to be a first-round pick, Skip, then that means you know that millions could potentially be at stake and you can't stay off the weed. I cannot believe yet again that I have to sit up here and say this. And then to think about it, let's, let's paint this picture, y'all, so everybody out there sees what it is. He gets a letter from the NFL, and he's nervous because he thinks it's going to be something positive from a team or whatever, and come to find, he says, Dad, open the letter. And his father opens the letter to see that you failed a drug test. Really? And I got news for you. Clearly, you smoke weed frequently if you are Randy Gregory. Because how would you test positive at the NFL scouting coming? Some scuff about how he used it last in December. Oh, stop it. Just stop. Nobody's trying to hear that. But I still want him to get drafted in the first round. I still want him to have a prosperous NFL career. But it cannot happen if you can't stay off the weed. They, they got, mm. Somebody got to get this in these guys' heads. Yep. You literally have a, bu a bunch of fools, idiots, who sit up there and text and tweet and all. Yo, man, what's the problem? What's wrong with smoking a little weed? It's illegal. And on top of it all, it's prohibited in the NFL. Stop arguing about, oh, why can't we? Because they said so. Period. And that, that's all that matters. They have millions to offer you. In order for you to get it, you can't smoke weed. Period. If there's nothing to discuss. And if you can't accept that, go do something else. It's that simple. There's plenty of jobs where they don't test you for, for, being, for, for, for yeah. smoking weed. They don't test for that. Go get that job. You chose a profession where they prohibit it. And you have to accept it. These idiots out here encouraging these dudes to keep doing it. It shouldn't be a problem. They're not trying to pay your bills, Randy Gregory. They are not trying to pay your bills. Don't listen to them. Get off the weed. Stop doing it. And by the way, if you took what he said into account, Skip, do you know what that means? That means you were doing it all through the season. Right. Mm. I'm sorry. I thought it was illegal. So that means you were doing it in college when you wasn't supposed to be doing it. I mean, this is just some... This, this is ridiculous. And oh, by the way, let me get controversial for the last part. Don't you notice again, Skip? All of these are brothers. I don't see anybody. I don't see the, uh, the white guys getting called out for smoking weed. You put a shot of all of these guys smoking weed get, uh, that got busted for it, that got caught with it, all this stuff. All of them. Practically all of them. Black, 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 black. Ah, ah, just tired of it. Blowing millions for some weed? Really? Man, go to break, y'all. If you blow it because you want to smoke some weed, you get no sympathy from me. So are you sitting up there with the ESPN microphone talking about all that the nonsense that people talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm changing things. Well, go ahead. You the one that victimized you. We didn't do it. I think they should have been made to stand up before yep. the reporters and answer questions as to their, you know, as to their stupidity, because that's it's, it was nothing but stupidity. But let's also acknowledge that they got pulled over by a cop on a motorcycle who said they drove by him and he could smell the the the, the weed. Skip, where were they going? They were <clears throat> on their way to the airport for the Steelers game against the Eagles last night. So let me get this straight. You're about to hop on the plane en route to a plane ride where your coach is going to be on it. You didn't even have a decency 
to wait until you landed. Oh, no, no, no. You are on your way to the plane where ostensibly the coach is going to be and you're getting high in the middle of the afternoon off some weed knowing that you're probably going to see the coach. I don't know how much more disrespectful that can be. I don't know. Or either. how stupid okay. that can be. I'm saying that's not what they mean when they bring it up. Skip, they're talking about using it recreationally, wanting to get high. That's what they're, they're not talking about. This is going to alleviate some pain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, this is really going to be to benefit me. And, you know, because I don't feel like going to the doctor and get some other medicine and all that because I'm in such pain. That's why I want to smoke some weed. They're talking about weed for recreational purposes. Because let me tell you something right now. There's a whole bunch of dudes that ain't in the football. They ain't in the National That's Football League smoking some weed. What they doing it for? It's for recreational purposes. Let's just call it what it is. It removes you from the stresses and the strain of everyday life. And that's why you use it. Y'all trying to tell me that's a medical condition? Well, damn. What <laughs> medical? I mean, who doesn't have that? I mean, what are we going to do? We going to encourage kids to do it now? Why you got to encourage? Why you got to talk to the commissioner, Roger Goodell, and have him giving quotes about how we're looking into the purpose? Stop. Stop it. If you're going to use it, shut up and use it. If, like you said, they ain't tested it past OTAs and trade it, Kim, why don't you shut the hell up? What you say something for? Just go ahead and do it. I'm saying if you are Antonio Cromartie or any NFL player or any professional athlete, shut up. Just go ahead and do it. If you ain't getting tested and you ain't getting busted for it, be happy with that. Because if you get away with it from a public perspective, where as, an, as a society, we sit there and say it's okay, then we are giving the license to people to get high. Well, my take number one is just because he wasn't caught on the weed <laughs> does not mean that he should be absolved. Why? Because Josh Gordon clearly has a problem. Whether it's the weed or it's alcohol, I don't think that any of those drugs are worth $5 million plus million, which is what he was getting paid. If somebody gets busted with that, it's kind of hypocritical for you to then come back and be like, well, you weren't supposed to do that, mm -hmm. okay? But it is what it is, because I had ignorant folks calling up my radio show on Sirius XM and beyond, talking about well, what's the big deal with weed, alcohol, whatever the case may be. In the case of weed, it's legal in two states for medicinal purposes. You can use it in 23 and 26 mm -hmm. states. Mm -hmm. It's illegal in the NFL. Mm -hmm. If your employer mandates that it is something that you cannot do, and you want to receive a paycheck from these people, stop trying to find excuses to skirt around it. There are some things we're going to explain. And then there are other times when it's like, look, damn it, because I said so. You understand? This is the way it is. An explanation is not required. All of this feel good. But what the hell do you want next? A pedicure or manicure? The Cleveland Browns gave this dude over five million dollars. You said he got Hall of Fame talent. We all know he's been on the show. Nice guy. Good looking young man. Got a lot of promise. The whole nine. And whether it's the weed or alcohol, you can't chill when millions are taking. I am not feeling sorry for you anymore. You have to handle your business. You know, I'm from the world where, you know, punishment serves as a strong deterrent. Enough. Maybe, just maybe, if we're a little bit heartless, you'll get the message. Enough. So, just Enough. I, I, so what do you mean by I don't I He needs to be banned. The man has struck out more than four baseball players. Oh, his boys, his friends, teammates, contemporaries. Oh, they look at us. Oh, you got it wrong. You yeah. really? Yeah. Really? They said that. They said that. They said that. It's not. It's you. Oh, right. no, it can't be you. We leave it here. That's a problem. Admitting to smoking pot while out on bond. What do you think I, what do you think <laughs> I make of it? What do you think I feel? Skip, you know how ticked off I get on this subject. How many times have I said, stay off the weed? <laughs> Good Lord, thank, th thank the good Lord I am on FCC Airways. I, I, thank the good Lord. I, it, it's, it's hard to take, man. I think we can safely conclude this did not help Adrian Peterson's case in any way, shape, or Not at all. Thank you. Very stupid. From Very stupid. And you're going to throw it all away, to quote you, for some weed.